I feel the muscles doing overhead reaching with assistance. I try it on its own, unable to do so. Therefore, what other exercises should I add to be able to reach overhead? Well, if you have assistance, I would say keep doing it with assistance. It's a slow process, repetition, repetition, repetition. You want to set yourself up for success. So if you have someone that is willing to help you, that is the best case scenario. So just keep getting help with that exercise. Um, recently, I made a video with the Pilates bar uh, where I strapped the Pilates bar to the wall overhead. And you just hold on to the Pilates bar with the bungees kind of attached to the wall over your head. And that's kind of like an active assist, but it just means you need to get more repetitions in either active assisted or um, with actual someone else assisting you. The other way, if you don't have help that I, most of my patients that I see in person do, can't think of anyone that I don't recommend this for who's in the same stage as you are just using a cane, using your other arm to help or a Pilates ring using the other arm to help. I wanna briefly interrupt this video to take a minute to talk about protein. Surprisingly, I learned recently that only 15% of the calories in the Western American diet comes from protein. Now on one hand, I'm surprised, but on the other hand, I'm kind of not surprised given the rise in the rate of diseases in America. But it's so unfortunate when we know that protein, which are really just amino acids, literally are the building blocks of every cell in our body. But beyond that, they are necessary for the proper functioning of every cell in our body. And most importantly for all of you, brain cells. So if you're anyone that's trying to recover from a neurologic injury, or you're just trying to optimize your overall brain health, meaning memory, recall, concentration, attention, you need protein. But beyond that, if you're someone that's just trying to lose weight, we know there's no dispute that protein is the most satiating of the macronutrients, macronutrients being proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. But in addition to that, but even beyond that, excess protein cannot be stored as fat, unlike carbohydrates and fats, where excess carbohydrates and fats are stored as fat. So it's protein satiating, can't be stored as fat, is the building block of all the cells in our body and is required for the proper functioning of all of the cells in our body. Now, how much protein should you be getting? The recommendation for adults is 0.8 to 1 gram per kilogram of body weight. Now, I know for me, that is a very large amount of protein that's very hard for me to get that amount of protein in. And that's where today's product spotlight comes into play. These are Pop-Tarts. Yes, a protein Pop-Tart. Uh, this brand, Legendary, has literally cracked the code on creating something that actually tastes like a Pop-Tart that has 20 grams of protein and only four grams of sugar, and I absolutely love these. The texture, that bread texture of a Pop-Tart, that icing on the top, and that filling in the middle, spot on as far as texture and flavor. The brown sugar cinnamon, I think these ones are called, is are my favorite. Now, the way I like to use these is I usually break them in half. Someone my size eating these on a regular basis as a snack is probably not a good idea as far as monitoring or keeping track of my overall caloric intake each day. And I usually like to have these after a run that's usually over 45 minutes to an hour. And actually that's why this package is open because I did an eight mile run earlier today and I ate half of one of these as a nice treat after my run. But anyway, so when this opportunity presented itself, I had to jump on it since I was already a regular consumer of these bars and I really do think they're super tasty. I have a sweet tooth. I know a lot of people have a sweet tooth. So I prefer if I'm gonna satisfy that sweet tooth, why not also get in some of that protein that is kind of hard for me to get in uh, on a daily basis. But more importantly than all of that or purchasing a Pop-Tart, especially if you don't like Pop-Tarts, if you are someone that's trying to lose weight, improve your brain health, recover from a neurologic injury, get that 
protein in. Remember, 0.8 to 1 gram per uh, pound of body weight is the take home message. If you want to check out these bars or purchase these pop tarts, link is in the description below. Now back to the video. Those would be my suggestions. You're still in that stage where you need that assistance. Remember, you, you're trying to retrain your brain. So you have to set yourself up for success. And if that means right now you have to get assistance, I would keep doing it with assistance. Remember, it goes passive as far as stages of movement recovery. Passive, active assisted, active gravity eliminated, meaning parallel to the ground, active against gravity, meaning perpendicular. The movement is occurring, moving the limb away from the ground, then resistance. And you don't want to skip over any of those stages. So passive, active assisted, active gravity eliminated, active against gravity, resistance. And Again, it's very, very important. Skipping over stages, which a lot of people want to do, I just think you're going to get frustrated and you're going to develop some poor mechanics. There's just no doubt that you're going to compensate. Today's video sponsor is the Allele 3X Percussion Massage Gun. Now, I do get this question a lot. Should I use a percussion gun for my spasticity and I would say it all depends some people it definitely helps but there's also others where I know for sure that it does make the spasticity worse but where I think a massage gun can be extremely valuable is in that very very early stage where a muscle is flaccid tapping and vibration helps to give sensory input to the brain that is where a percussion type of tool can be such a valuable, valuable addition to your toolkit. And so this product I'm holding here is called the Allele 3X Percussion Massage Gun. It is one of the more reasonably priced massage guns that are on Amazon. This model right here is extremely lightweight. It comes with four different attachments that you can put on the end. I really like the flat attachment. I find it to be the most tolerable. And it has this angled handle on it, which does make it easier to reach some of those hard to reach areas of your body. This gun is extremely lightweight, it's quiet, and it is pretty powerful. I would always start on the lowest setting, work your tolerance up to the higher and higher settings. But as usual, this company was generous enough to support this channel. So by clicking on the link, you can learn more about the product, but it also does support this channel. So thank you in advance for your support. To learn more about this product and to purchase it, click on the link in the description below. Now back to the video. If you liked that video and you want to learn more exercises on how to improve your walking, definitely check out this video over here or that video over there. If you want even more help, check out our gold membership program where you will get access to over 300 exercises that are not here on YouTube, as well as access to our monthly lives where you can get your questions answered.